Okay, gonna kick off my first video for this channel. Okay, the first video is going to be on how to install and set up source mod and meta mod on a uh, TF2 or CSS server, really any uh, source game that you want. You're gonna wanna go to sourcemod.net. Um, yeah, uh, get, go to the releases, uh, click on, well, depends on the server. This is gonna be a Windows. Uh, click on the Windows zip for me. Uh, any one of these mirrors doesn't matter. Um, download really fast. It's really kind of small. If you want to get a beta version, you could go to this. There's a 1.5. I'm not going to do that because it can be unstable. Then you're going to want to go to metamodsource.net and download for me the Windows, but there's Mac and Linux uh, servers as well. Down the newest one, and since I'm doing a TF2 server, uh, you're going to want to get your VADF file no matter what. That, that That's really important. If you don't, it will not work. Uh, i got to get the TF2 one. Just get, click generate, it'll download it for you. Fairly simple from there. <coughs> and from here, I'm going to just exit out, because it don't, doesn't matter from here. Just going to go to downloads, everything's right here that you need. Just click extract. Oh, get WinRAR. Should have mentioned that earlier. Got to get WinRAR for this. But uh, now that I unzip these, uh, you can just kind of toss them out unless you got more servers. You can, I know. Actually, you can just toss it out. Just cycle that. Take this VDF file and put it in the add-ons folder. Anything from there doesn't matter. I'm going to quickly pause this video just for uh, a couple seconds uh, while I'm setting something up. Okay, continued. Um, okay. You're going to want to have a file transfer system. Personally, my favorite would be Fire FTP. Uh, just download it off uh, and install on the Mozilla Firefox browser. Only reason I have Mozilla Firefox is for Fire FTP. Really simple. It just type in, just click create account. Uh, account name doesn't matter. Host name, that would be the IP of the server. Then your login and password are your uh, control panel login and password or if it's hosted off your computer, which you wouldn't really need to do all these steps then, then you would just type in your username and password to your computer. But you wouldn't need to do that. This is for if you're going f from a server company. If you have your own server box, then you basically skip all this, just down every download everything straight to your server box and uh, configure your server that way. Um, okay, I'm going to connect to the, uh, my idle server quickly. Because this is the one I'm going to be installing it on, because I have to do that. Hopefully this will connect. Otherwise I'll have to pause the video and get it to connect later. And it connected, okay. This is just the IP, that doesn't matter. This is this is your directory. To install it, you just want to click on TF, then, uh, oh, I do already have it here. Well, um, okay. I'll just let you know how to do it anyways. You would just uh, highlight both of those, click upload, and it would just all automatically upload. There's an, it'll merge the folders for, for you, no problem. If you want to configure um, source mod, this is basically what you do. You just go in the CFG source mod directory and uh, double click the source mod CFG, or like, at least I did because I added it in my uh, options for that. Double clicking, pressing enter. Yeah. Then you can just edit anything with source mod. Really, that's actually editable. Um, in the same video, I'll show you how to set up add-ons as well. It's very, it's fairly simple. Not sure why there's a source mod VDF there, but because that doesn't really matter. But the meta mod VDF definitely does matter. In fact, I think that's supposed to be in there, if I'm not mistaken. That goes in the MetaMod folder. Mm, or. Okay, I don't know, I'm confused. Anywho, go to Source Mod. Uh, you, you, these are all your plugins. Uh, should There should be a disabled folder. Uh, there's not. Doesn't really matter if there is or is not one. Uh, you got your configs. This is where you'd add your admins. Um, 
you can do admin CFG. Admin CFG, I, I would really only use if using uh, source bands because it automatically configures admin CFG. Admin simple.ini though is a lot easier to use if you're just setting it up manually. In fact, I'll show you. <clears throat> Basically, here's how it looks. Basically, you just put type the Steam ID there. It doesn't matter. It's random Steam ID. It's not even how one looks, but still, concept is still the same. Press uh, space a few times. Doesn't really matter how many. Um, and then just do that. Uh, here's a website for the link. Well, not the links, but the flags that you're gonna want to set up admins with. And just. Click on the first link, just type in source mod admin, click on the first link, and you're good to go. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Quick start. You can read that if you want. I don't really need to. This is the only thing I need to look at. This has all the different flags. If you give an admin A, they'll have a reserve slot. B, they'll have generic admin. I, generic admin has quite a few things in it, and quite a few unnecessary things in it as well. Okay. For this, you would type in... Uh, First, their immunity level, which is normally a hundred or below. Hundred means they have max immunity, and that just means people below a hundred immunity cannot target people above that immunity. And then that, and then uh, you can do Z. They get all. They get every single flag, every single command. Uh, or you could type in, say, th I want this person to have slay and this person to have reservation. Well, their admin is now set up. All I gotta do is save and restart the server, or actually restart the map. That's what all you have to do. Each flag, you just put it like that, and it'll load automatically. For custom commands, that's uh, fairly simple as well. Okay, I gotta find that first. Uh, admin overrides, there we go. Just like it says here. Override, you just type in the command you wanna change what uh, flag it's on. This is uh, one of my plugins I have on the server. Uh, you just type in the command there, and then you put a custom flag, or a, or a flag like you could put a band flag here, a generic admin or reserve slot. It would make that command go to that slot. So people, let's say you put a slay flag, and people, anybody who has a slay flag could use this command then. And then there, that's all you got to know about this, uh, about setting up a server with Metabon source mod. That's really all you got to know. If you have any questions about any other uh, servers and how to set them up, feel free to ask me, message me on YouTube, put a comment on my channel, anything you want, doesn't matter. I will help you as much as I can, and I'll set up a server for you for a small price if you want me to.